Welcome everyone. My name is Christine Breakstone. I'm the Western Regional Coordinator for Self Advocates United as One and I will be facilitating today and I'd like to introduce our wonderful presenter Gretchen. Gretchen go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Gretchen Monsvager. I'm from Quaker Town which is in Bucks County. I'm a para coach with SAU1. And I'm Judy, uh, Gretchen's support person. Today's presentation was developed by a para coach, Gretchen, and that's me on, on the picture. Self Advocates United as One, S A U One, has a, a mission to support the self advocacy of people with disabilities for positive impact in our communities and in people's lives. And this is a picture of the staff board meeting fall 2018. Today's event it is a, a project of self advocates united as one for our connect and create project. And the grant information is below. Relax and renew. There's a picture of me doing an a yoga pose. What is what, what is stress? Anyone? Oh my God, it's something that can build up when, when you think about something or worry about something. Very good answer. Mm -hmm. So it's something that builds up sometimes. Stress can also be a situation that you are in. Very good. Are you worried too much about something not to be there and not to be blow your body? Very good. S stress is things that make you feel upset, frustrated, angry, nervous, or, or overwhelmed. It, c it can come from too many things in your schedule, or it can come from every day or unexpected events. Everyone, everyone has stress. Each person experiences stress differently. Little things can feel the same as big things. What are things you get stressed about? Anyone? Picture of me? Um, oh, oh, I, I got one. Um, it, it can be um, the COVID-19, you know, um, what about what's going on, you know? For me, it's COVID, not having my income and finances. Thanks, Renee. Yeah. No, the weather's going to do. Very good answer. This is Sierra. Um, for me, um, sometimes it's things going on with my family, or maybe work is like super busy, um, and we have a lot going on, and that can be stressful. Very good. We will talk about ways to plan for less stress later what does it what does it mean to relax a picture of crystals you know what it means to relax to be happy very good you Maybe miss all music or you lie your body to go and play bow with and that 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 will do it lots of good ideas bobby said that he likes to recline in his chair and watch movies <gasps> nah, nice awesome. to become less tense or anxious why is balance important? Any, any anyone having a balanced life um, helps you with stress, but also helps you with this um, helps you with situations that deals with stress. Very good. It helps you stay calm because if you're not balanced in your life, you can become very sick. Yes. Great points, everyone. Kindness. I don't know about you guys, but um, I get grumpy when my life's out of balance. <laughs> I feel out of whack when my life is out of balance. And I get out of balance. I I I feel uh, I feel kind of down. Too much uh, on your uh, too much uh, on your plate. Priorities. So I know too for me when. Um, when I have a lot of things going on, sometimes priorities are harder. Friends. 
So if I don't have my life in balance, I don't get to spend time with my friends and do fun things. <laughs> who are people who help you find ways to balance, relax, and renew? A anyone? Uh, friends. Help find ways to balance? Yeah. Who? My guy. My therapist. Very good. She she's she teaches me how to uh, meditate. Great. great. I like Yoko. That's great. Very good answer. We thought of your good teacher, mom or gram, fr fr uh, friends, massage therapist, pr personal trainer, walking buddy. What technology can help me to relax and renew? Anyone? Maybe it could be the um scripture on the computer. Listen to scripture on the computer. Yeah. That's a good one. I have a massage mat that if I lay down, it'll massage my back. That's great. And lift weight. Good one, Joe. Any other um, ideas? Yeah. This is Sierra. Um, I there's a couple different ones, and and depending on you know what works for you, you can find the one that works for you. But there are app a lot of apps now. Um, that will play different sounds or music or maybe meditations that can really help with relaxing, I've found. Thank you for sharing. My CD player, because I can play my music. Great, Sharon. My heating pad. That's a good one. <laughs> my iPad, love it. Okay. My Christian music helps, helps me relax and takes me out of my realm. And right. that crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzles? That that would keep your mind off the page. Yep, you guys have great ideas. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun to hear different ideas, so get, get, we give each other some inspiration. Podcasts, YouTube books, applications to download on your phone or, or device, meditation or positive thought, card deck, music, dance, play, or listen, what, what songs, help you relax a a anyone what kind of music helps you relax country country mm. um Thanks. rock and roll um this is sierra and for me um i actually just found it but um i use spotify a lot and they have different um playlists of songs that they've put together um and one is just like it was like just calming music, I think was the title or something like that. And it was a lot of like piano and just kind of, you know, calming sort of just instrument music. Um, I was listening to that yesterday when I was working and I was like, oh, this is really, really calming. That's how I do my meditation is use calming music. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Baking, cooking recipes online, make tea or a, a relaxing brev beverage like chamomile tea. Watch cute animal videos. Play with a dog or cat. Read a book, prayer, or spirituality practice. Let's look at a few, a few tools. That's a picture of central oils. There are many things you can put in your toolkit to help you relax and renew. You can choose some things to try or explore your own ideas. It is helpful to have different tools for the different situations and places. Make tea or any other favorite beverage. A picture of different tea. Take Taking time to make tea or any other healthy beverage can help you find focus. Pick something that you enjoy that is calming. Avoid caffeine since it can make you dirty. Herbal teas to try our the blossom, chamomile, lavender, many brands have a calming blend. What is your favorite calming beverage? Anyone? Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> tea. Tea. 
tea. Yeah. <laughs> I heard somebody say tea. I did. Thanks, Derek. Okay. Else? I like dandy blend, which ah. is a herbal um, dandelion root tea. It's kind of like a coffee. It almost tastes like coffee. It's really good. Uh, this is Sierra. Oh. I'm, I'm, I was going to say, um, I have, it's an herbal tea. Uh, it's called Reboos. It's um, made out of, I think a bush actually, um, is where it comes from rather than like tea leaves. But um, it has kind of vanilla, like vanilla, cinnamony type of taste. Um, so that, or I found some uh, flavored waters lately that are just the water and like the essence of whatever the fruit is. So just the fruit flavor instead of all the sugar and, and everything else that can be in some other flavored waters. And so um, either one of those is really good. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing. A robot therapy. A picture of essential oils. Certain smells can help you feel calmer. Central oils are the oils in plants that you can smell and are natural and safe. There, there are many ways to enjoy these oils. You can wear them, put them in, in your shampoo or cream, diffuse them or just smell them in the bottle or, or on an inhaler. Suggest oils to try to calm our lavender, chamomile, lemon, orange, lime, frankincense, cypress, and rose. What, what smells make you feel better? Anyone? I like lavender. Go ahead, Joe. A light all uh, air cleaner. <clears throat> the air like freshener. The, the yeah. smell of a uh, bread baking um, mm. makes me feel feel good. Mm. Mm. Cookies are the thing in our house that makes everybody feel better. The smell of cookies baking. I love the smell of the ocean. Mm. Very good. Um, mine would be um like. Uh, eucalyptus, um, or um, I think the other one is like win wintergreen, um, kind mm. of a, a like a mint um, smell. Thank you. Books and reading can be very helpful. Picture of books, poetry, keeping in a diary or journal. Books to learn about self-care, favorite writers or collections like Chicken Soup for the Soul. You can tell your, your own story what, and write a book. What books do you suggest? Anyone? Like cover book? That's a good one, Joe. I know I got uh, two Christian books that I'm that I'm reading. Crossword books. Say again, uh, Anita. Crossword puzzle books. I like um, reading James Patterson books. Hmm. Great. Friends and pets. They're like pets. <laughs> picture up pets. Cute, cute, cute stuff. Animal. Take time to connect with your friends. Playtime is important. H hugs help. Now, if you don't want to hug, you should always say, I don't want to hug, especially these days. Hug a pillow, teddy bear, or pet. Play with your pet. And I wanted to mention that the pillow on here is one of those pillows that's kind of a, a stem pillow, so you can s swish the colors of the sequins back and forth. And that's kind of like a stimmy thing that makes me feel better. Music to listen or play. Picture of people dancing, playing an, an a guitar. Listening to music is a great way to relax. Different types of music can support positive mood. What, what do you like to listen to when you want to feel better? Anyone? Say uh -huh. con country. Country? Expanded. Okay. Singing and dancing can help too. If you play an 
a instrument. Practicing can also be helpful. Do you do you play in a, a instrument? In anyone? Do you play guitar? I heard Derek say guitar. C crafting or c creating. What do you like to make? And I'll, I'll explain some of the pictures. So the picture of the tree is one of those paint parties that you might see advertised places. So you don't even have to know how to paint. The teacher kind of helps you. And this is a painting. The little fox painting is one that my um, granddaughter Ambelina made. Our very own Angie made this jewelry necklace. It's a tree of life with different crystals. And here's another piece of jewelry that um, a friend made. Um, and then this is a um, some silver work around the outside of this horn. And then this is a tile that paint has been um, enameled on. So those are some different ideas. What do you guys like to make? Like a basketball. I'm not that good at drawing, but mm -hmm. it don't have to be. That's right. That's right. And you said you like those coloring books. The coloring books are great. Yeah. I got mm -hmm. that whole coloring book. Mm -hmm. um, for me, creating, um, a lot of times, um, I, I'm not or super artistic but for me creating a lot of times involves writing um and and using my words um, not nice as a way of being creative great mm -hmm. yeah. i'm not the color the color awesome what did um oscar can you repeat again please um um i the bit of the word on paper i was thinking so put, put, put pictures and words on paper about yeah. what you're thinking. Thanks, Oscar. That's great. That's a good one. Okay. Lots of good ideas. Massage and re reflex lodgy. Massage is the rubbing and kneading of muscles and joints of the body with the uh, hands especially to relieve t t tension or pain there are many forms of m massage you can massage your own hands and feet reflex allergy is a system of massage used to relieve tension and treat illness. It is based on the uh, idea that there are points on the feet, hands, head that you can massage for better health and re relaxing, relaxation. You can use central oils with massage and reflex uh, uh, allergy. Reflex uh, uh, allergy massaging points your hands and feet. Use the massage oil in, in, in your packet. Follow along with the video. We will we will show you you can use the, the chart in your packet as a guide. Let's watch the work uh, along with this re reflex uh, allergy video. We will put the link in the chat for you to do the same thing to your, your other foot later. I'm here with Modern Mom today to give you some really quick, easy tips for stress relief that you can do anywhere, anytime. I'm gonna show you some, some reflexology techniques for stress relief. The first one is the solar plexus, which is right in the middle of the foot. And you wanna place your thumbs, you can use two thumbs, right in the middle of the foot and make small circles. Now reflexology is based on the idea 
that every part of your body, every nerve, every organ is connected to your feet, hands, and ears. So in this case, your feet. This is the solar plexus, which is the nerve center of the body. It's located in the body right behind the diaphragm. So what you're doing by pressing here and making small circles is you're affecting that part of the body, the solar plexus, and you're sending calming energy to the entire body. And you wanna do this for maybe five to 10 seconds. And then we're gonna move to the big toe, right here, the fleshy part of the big toe. And you want firm pressure and this is the reflexology area to the brain. And pressing here can help relieve headaches, migraine headaches even. And you wanna either make circles like this with your thumb and your, and your pressure is firm, or you can just hold it and just have st static pressure. Next, if you're stressed out, you might have some back pain. So if you move to the heel of the foot on both feet on the inner edge of the foot, and slowly work your thumbs with firm pressure all the way up from the heel to the big toe. And this is working your entire back. It's releasing stress, it's loosening up your back, and you can do this several times. Back here down by the heel is the lower back. So if you have lower back issues, if you've been sitting in a chair, driving, you wanna focus a lot of time here. And then as you move up, the inner arch right here is related to the middle part of your back. And a lot of people are sensitive right about here. And then slowly working your way up to the big toe. This is the upper back right here. And then as you hit the, the lower part right here of the big toe, this is your neck. So if you're stressed and you have neck pain, you can just press here and make small circles. And now we're gonna move right below the center. So here's the center, just move right below. And this is the thymus. And this is an air, a gland in the body. And if you make small circles here, you can actually energize your entire body. And if it feels better, you can just hold it. I usually count to five and release and then do it again. And then finally, you can just take your thumbs all the way from the heel and bring it right up the center and do this several times and this should send soothing energy to your entire body so once you've worked on one foot switch feet and definitely do the other foot so you don't feel uneven and you have stress relief throughout your entire body and if you like these tips and you want to hear more subscribe and I'd love to hear from you so leave a comment below thank you for watching what did you guys think Okay. I hope you you were practicing along with, because I feel a little bit better just doing my one foot. Yes. Uh, just another reminder to to do your other foot later. Yep. What are other activities to help you relax and renew? And your one. What do you do that helps you relax? Listen to music. I like going fishing to relax. Fishing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Play your guitar. Play my guitar. Bowling. Bowling. Oscar, I didn't catch what you said. Um, you said to goodbye. Thanks, Oscar. Yoga. Gardening. Hot. An uh, uh, salt bath. Steam toys like Frederick Spinner, organizing or cleaning, donating uh, items, volunteering uh, opportunities. What works for you? Anyone? I like to clean up my apartment and mm -hmm. I like to talk with people that that made me feel 100% better. Awesome, Joe. Thank you. We're in the community. Can I go to relax and renew? A anyone? I like to walk around community. Cause walking is good for your heart. It's good for your whole body. Thanks, Joe. You're good. Um, Bobby said that he likes to go to the park. The park? Awesome. Thanks, Bobby. Uh, this is Sierra, and um, for me, 
Um, not so much now that we're kind of still in the middle of COVID, but um, before that, um, somewhere I like to go was um, uh, usually a gym that has a heated pool. Um, and um, because with my disability, um, being in the pool and, and doing some swimming and just being in the water is really good for um, m my body and also really relaxing. So. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Virtual tours, vacations, plan for post COVID, walk on trails, bike trails, and parks, faith community, community centers. Where do you want? Where, where do you want? Where you, do you dream of going someday? I like to go to Bermuda. <laughs> That's awesome. Any, anybody else? I, I like to go to Puerto Rico one of these days. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow. Um, I've been there once and I always wanted to get back. Um, but New Orleans, um, Louisiana is just a really interesting place. Um, and you can do like, I've done a riverboat tour down the Mississippi River and things like that, which that was really relaxing, just kind of on the water. So I'd love to go back there someday. Nice. Awesome. I'd like to go back to Hawaii. Mm. Nice. I would like to go to New Orleans also. New Orleans? Nice. Yes, yeah, to Mardi Gras. <laughs> what do you... What do you dream of of doing someday? I, I want to go to 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 concerts. Um, I'm going on um, a cruise. Going on a cruise, nice. Nice self care and healthy lifestyle. My self care routine includes get better sleep, take care of my teeth, use my heating pad for comfort. Weekly time with my friends, drying, brushing my skin. And Gretchen will explain that at the end if anybody needs to, wants to know more about that. Yoga, regularly on Zoom. What do you like to do? I, I go for walks regularly and I take a dance class once a week. Everybody's care routine is going to look different. Gretchen's healthy lifestyle star. Th these are some things I use to support my healthy lifestyle. So, so for technology is my, my cell phone, personal strengths access, yoga practice, relationships, walking body, community base is YMCA, Edgebone New Pacific is regular well check with an, a doctor. Now let's fill out your own star. Strengths and assets. What are yours? And those are gonna go down here in the blue section at the top. So you can write in there those things that um, that you like to do or that you're, you like to do and you're good at that you'd like to put in your strengths and assets. Relationships. Who is uh, on your support team? So that's going to go over here. So keep in mind, this is about your healthy lifestyle. So who's going to support your healthy lifestyle? Those people and relationships. Technology. What can you use for support? You might run, write those things. It might be um, those um, applications. Like, for example, the reflexology. There's free downloadable applications, things like that, um, that you can put over here. And the pink. Community-based, where can you go? That's going to go down here in the purple part, the dark purple part on the left. Eligibility, what other support might, might, might you need? And that's going to go down here in the green part. So you might put things like making sure you have your insurance and your doc, um, anything that's going to make sure that you're eligible. So memberships and things like that can go down there. So. My dance class, I don't get to have my dance class if I don't pay for it. What is meditation? 
the busy person doing many meditating, a mind and body practice to increase calmness and reduce stress. It helps when you think about re re relaxing your body, so you. You you do not think about the things getting you stressed out. Why meditate? A picture of someone sitting at a nature. It it helps with your stress. It helps you if have a bad day to feel better. It helps you feel more focused. It helps you feel more in. Control. It helps you control your your breath. How do you meditate? A picture of someone's hand. One of the ones、um, that I found on one of the apps I use that was really helpful for me was you. It takes you from like the top of your head down to your toes and has you try to relax each like area of your body.、Um, Like one at a time, and、uh, for a while I used that like right before I would go to sleep,、um, and it was just really,、um, really relaxing. And sometimes like by the end of it, where where I was just they were just having you breathe, I would not even realize it stopped. Like I would be totally ready to just be calm and go to sleep. So great, great example. Anyone else want to share how they meditate? Meditate is help you stay calm.、Mm -hmm. It help me to keep the night off the pain. It it don't it don't fall there. Can I let pain get to me? And I try not to let pain get to me. And, and, and that should help with that. It should help your whole body and、mm -hmm. not uh not to be dragged out all the time. Great, Joe. Thank you. Sometimes I just do it for a couple of minutes. I just sit still and close my eyes, and、um, have nothing on, no TV or anything. Just、um, sit still for a couple of minutes and listen to the silence. Thanks, Sharon. Very good. I will take you through an A exercise to help your day get better. Do you have questions before we get started? Positive thoughts can help you relax and renew. One way to keep positive could be to look in the mirror and give yourself an a high five. What positive things you could say to yourself in the mirror? Let's say, oh.、Uh... Oh, don't don't let don't let pain get to me. This pain is about to pop me. Okay, don't let things、okay. get to me. Good one, Joe. Um, you can say um, um, I love myself. I love myself. <laughs> Great. Very good. That's an、uh, awesome one, Oscar. Does uh, Derek? Do you have your hand up? I think you're muted, but I see your hand up. Your friend. So、oh, you look in the mirror and you can say, "That's my friend." I、yeah. like that.、Mm. That's awesome, Derek. Good one. Okay.、Um, and、right. one of the ones I just came up from for myself、um, is I free myself from my stress and make room for new opportunities. Thank you. For, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Very nice. So、you can come up with what works for you. Breathing exercise. I should. I do breathing exercise. Breathing works out. Can helps us stand and sit up straight. Helps to help us feel better about our day. Helps us not get sore. Help digestion. Help stop stomach aches. Breathing workouts can help us fight COVID nineteen. Breathing exercise help makes make our lungs stronger. Strong lungs will help 
if we can get sick. Why do yoga? A picture of Will relieves stress, makes us feel better about our day. Can do it anywhere. Good for our joints. Good for our lungs. When can we do yoga? Any any time, and. Especially during COVID nineteen, it is important to find ways to stay healthy. How to use your your yoga blanket? Please look at your handout for guidance. You can use it with your exercise to together. Okay, yoga and meditation. Gretchen is going to take a minute to go ahead and get ready. Um, to lead us through an exercise. And we're gonna start off um, with a singing bowl. So a singing bowl is often used to start a meditation. It's a musical instrument. Um, sometimes people use a bell instead. So I'm gonna try to hold this up to the camera so you can see, whoops, the singing bowl. It's the same one in the picture. Boy, that's harder than I thought. So a singing bowl. You guys hear the bell okay? Yes. So you can hit the side of it just like a bell, or you can play it. Somebody come in. So go ahead and grab your yoga blanket. And we'll listen to the singing bowl and get comfortable. And we're going to listen to Gretchen. So Gretchen, go ahead and give me a heads up when you're ready to start. I'm ready. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Gretchen. Okay. I'm going to go through a short yoga and meditation practice. Please listen to the sound of my voice. And join me as we relax and renew. I'm going to use my yoga blanket to sit it on for, su for support. Follow along everyone. First, sit in a comfortable, relaxed position on your on, on your chair or on the floor. Place your pointer finger to your to, to, to your thumb with your both with your both hands. Place them uh, on your lap. Now, gently close your eyes and then into the count of five and then out for, and I count of five. We'll do this a few times. Breathe in. Good job. Now let's gently shrug our shoulders 10 times. Deep breath in. Watch me.
great good great job. Now let's raise our arms overhead and down. Deep breath in and exhale five times. One more. Good. Now gently twist to one side and hold. Deep breath in. Yes. And then the other side. Deep breath in. Again, the other side. Other side. One, one more time. And then the other side. Great job. We, 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 we will now move into the meditation part. There is a mudra means hand gesture and a mantra means a positive phrase that is repeated over and over goes like this tap each finger and say these words peace begins with me let's say and do it together five times Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Great job, everyone. Continue practice this all on your own when, especially now in dealing with COVID-19. Wonderful job, everyone. We will end now by saying namaste. I am the light that lives in each of us. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. I love Jay. I must stay. Good job, everyone. Thank you for following along. Okay, Gretchen, are you ready to take us through our favorite saying? Sure. Ready? Yeah. Countdown for everybody. One, two, three. Knowledge, Knowledge is power. power. Music. Music. SAU1 thanks the thousands of self-advocates and families in the past who paved the way for self-advocacy and for everyday lives. And we thank the Pennsylvania Developmental Disability Council for making this event possible. And thank you. And thank you. Contact SAU1, Self-Advocates United as One at SAU1, 428 South Main Street, Suite 3, Greenville, Pennsylvania, 16125. Call our office at 724 588-2378 or email us at info at sau1.org or on the web at www.sau1.org. You can like us on Facebook, search for us at SAU1PA and follow us on Twitter, search for at speakupsau one